Well, good morning, everyone. Hello, I'm meteorologist Josh Dome with your Weather First forecast, and we're first talking about the tropics because if you haven't heard, uh, yesterday we had a low pressure system that tracked across the state of Florida, then entered into the Gulf of Mexico, and that's what brought the clouds and the showers, if you remember that. Well, then last night, the low pressure system intensified, and the National Hurricane Center said, wait a second, this is not a low pressure system anymore. This is a lot stronger than that. So they upgraded that low pressure system into a tropical depression. And now we have tropical depression number five. You can see that counterclockwise swirl of the clouds as this is starting to get its act together. So we have wind sustained at 35 miles per hour with this system. You can see the clouds circulating in that counterclockwise motion. And of course the convection, not looking as healthy right now, but with the heating of the day, this will start to intensify even more. And we'll start to see those showers and storms track onshore here with these outer bands of this system. Now, by tonight or early tomorrow morning, National Hurricane Center could upgrade this into a tropical storm, and that would be called Tropical Storm Danielle, and that looks to track towards either Mississippi or Louisiana. And the problem here is, remember, what left over oil there is still in the Gulf of Mexico with these strong winds producing a high surf, we're going to have a storm surge of waves coming in and depositing that excess oil right into the coast of Mississippi or Louisiana, and that's going to be a big story here. But right now it's moving at a pace of 10 miles per hour to the northwest, and wind sustained at 35 miles per hour. So it is a tropical depression right now, but it could be a tropical sto storm by uh, this evening or by early tomorrow morning. Uh, also, the low-pressure system or the tropical depression, you see that counterclockwise swirl here, an area of high pressure off to the northeast, creating that uh, gradient here between the winds. So that means that we're going to see wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour today. So it's going to be pretty breezy. 90 degrees will be our high here in Sarasota, but I think most of us are going to be in the upper 80s and lower 90s for our forecast today. It's going to be very warm here in Dallas at 103 degrees, 100 in St. Louis, 91 up in Minneapolis, 94 in Billings, Montana. Scattered showers and storms, in fact, some intense thunderstorms raking through Iowa right now into northern Illinois could cause delays around Chicago's O'Hare Midway Airport for later this morning or this afternoon as well with some more storms in the forecast. Another area of disturbed weather here in the central Atlantic, that could possibly form into something, but that's looking to track to the north and northwest. Also another disturbance in the eastern Caribbean. We'll keep our eyes on that. So once again, we have tropical depression number five in the Gulf of Mexico, producing winds up to 20 knots with higher wind gusts, making those seas offshore three to five feet. Possibly could be even choppier as we get into uh, this afternoon and expect choppy conditions in the bays. Here's your high of 90 today, and for the next several days, we are calling for temperatures to hover around the 90-degree mark and a good chance for showers and storms in the afternoon.